Hey guys, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA for a discount at checkout. They have the cheapest coins on the internet and they also do comfort trade which is 100% reliable. They do Xbox and Playstation and as you can see guys, by the prices here you can tell that they are definitely the cheapest out there. Also guys, if you want any information on how it works, go on the how it works section and they'll be sure to help you in any way. They also have 24 hour support though they're able to help you at any point during the day. Hey guys, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video guys. So I to say thank you for um, being with me while I had no uploads. I'm going to be uploading every day now. I'm back fully. I'm no more messing about. So I hope you do enjoy this video guys. Please drop it a like and do subscribe if you are new for daily trading videos. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to the Ultimate a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best team of the season snap and filter there is on FIBA 22. This is absolutely guaranteed to make you an awful lot of coins. So we're going to start off here and I'll go into the market. You want it really simple. You want to put in team of the season to here. So you put it in. You check the price of the cheapest ones. So you want to be looking around 16, 17k. So it's going to keep going up. 17, 750 here is the cheapest. There's two of them. So you get to 18.5. So you have base rate of the most of the cards. So you can see you, build, you get 18k per card basically. That's a guarantee. So 18k. So you can see here loads up. You'll be able to sell them for 18. If you want to be safe, go 17, 750. Um, just to guarantee sales. So you want to try and snipe them now at like 16, 250, just to make yourself at least 500 coins per card. You want to just sit here literally and do this. I'm going to show you a couple of other little methods as well, guys. So make sure you do stick around. I'm going to show you guys like a fair, fair whack of how long it takes to get one, and then another one after that. So you'll see. I mean, obviously during lightning rounds and stuff, this is so so much better. Like it gets better during the day. So right now you can see it's 3:46 p.m. So people will have finished school if they're at school, or um, there will be off today but it won't be as active as 6 p.m so just keep that in mind um for when you are doing this you'll see here i mean the way of doing this you can either search like this or you can go to 17 750 if you want to and just sit and refresh it like this because you might see a good deal on like a better card if you start to learn the prices for me i'm not sure on them like that i mean you could buy that and make 200 for 200 coins but for me i'm not really interested like, you know what I mean? If you want to make 250 coins a card, you have loads of coins, you don't really care, then that's fine. But I will be sticking and doing it at 16,250 uh, like this and just searching. That's all I'll be doing, um, just trying to get one like this. Um, but yeah, keep going. I'm going to show you another couple of methods after which are really effective too and a lot easier. Because um, obviously these are quite competitive when they do come up, like you will struggle. Um, it's not the easiest. And on PS, it's a thousand times better. There's so many more cards come up. So if you're on PS, you're in luck. I'm sadly still living on Xbox. So um, yeah, that's one problem, of course. But here we go, 16k, and we get it straight away. So that's like a 1k profit there. Um, I'm going to lift it up for 17,750. That's literally like. 850 coins it's nothing amazing but for sniping on this game it's pretty good you can see another one here 16k again we didn't win that cack here that actually sells for about 18 and a half i think they got 18 250. basically the older they are the normally the more expensive they are like the new team of the weeks are cheap you can see i came in on 58 i had no chance of winning that one um and there are times where people listen up for like 13 14k stuff like that 12k so you can get very lucky and you can also get some pretty decent cards um, at this price, they also do rise when you guaranteed like a you no know, team of the season that like SBC comes out and you need a team of the season card. They sometimes hit like 19 20k, so be mindful of that too. So if you are sniping them at 18k, they will drop again. So you want to be not holding on to them, you want to be selling them as quick as you can. But you can see here now, give us another couple of minutes to see if we do get any others. Um, lurking around here with a bit of look. Um, it doesn't look too appetizing at the moment though. You can obviously search like this too. It depends how you want to search. You can leave a little gap each time to get less chance of getting banned. But it's totally up to you. So we're going to go to the second method now, guys. And the method is going to be here. You want to go team of the season. What I like doing is, first of all, you can either do this. So you can find a certain position, like centre-back. And you'll see here, um, if you want to do it, it's not really worth it right now. Because you'll see there's an MLS guy that's so cheap and a few of them. But there are some positions where they can be a little bit more. You have to look through them. Like left back, I mean, it might be. I think left back's pretty good right now. Yeah, 21k. So, obviously, you can search this at 21k. But for me, there's not enough cards coming up, so I'll avoid that one personally. I like finding a league that's out now, so like Serie A's out now. Bremer's like, what, 30k? 28,750. So, you want to go for like 28,5. 
So it's loads of 28.750 essentially here. I don't know what's going on at 28.5. But I'll be selling at 28.5 because it's a crazy amount. So you want to go down to like 26k and just search. Obviously you're both like to see constant premieres. But um, there is a chance of getting some other players too. If you look here now at 26k. These are all the players that you could get. So Premier, Skrindar, Kalogny, Magnan, Quadrado. Shalogny, I've already said him actually. But yeah, there's a few different players you can get there. So if you get lucky in some idiot list one of a cheap, you just never know. And if you do get that, then it's your lucky day basically, and you make yourself a nice little profit. Um, it's always good to do this with the new team of the week's at Lightning Rounds again because people just list cards up for stupid prices. I don't understand some people, they do list them up for crazy like um, prices. So it's always worth keeping an eye on. Obviously, again, it's one of these things where. It's 346, not going to be as good. Um, I think that one did sell on, actually, we'll check in a little while um, to see if that deal did sell on that we did manage to pick up. Um, but yeah, for me, sniping isn't the best, but like, it's, it's easy for people that don't have that much trading knowledge, so I'd rather go on like bid or go into the 59th minute and try and pick deals up that way, um, which I will show you guys in the future. We're going to have a video every day now, like I say, so it's going to be much better. And there we go, Bremier, so we're going to get 28.5 on him. Um, hopefully it's still 28.5, I shouldn't have changed that fast, let's just check to be safe, um, it's another one, oh, lovely, um, we'll go to 28.5 easily, um, but yeah, we'll go again here, 28.5, um, and just list him up, after tax 1.5k, that's a 1.2k profit maybe, 1.1, so it's very good, like you can't complain at all. Um, 2.4k made there on Bremier basically in the space of like a minute and a half. Now, you obviously, need to have a few coins for this. Like I would do if you go let me down below what sort of budget you need for deal, like bidding or buying now stuff like that. I'll do it. I don't mind making videos that you guys want to see, um, to help you out. Um, that's totally fine by me. But I'm easy. I really don't mind what I upload. I'm trying to help you guys. So I'm trying to get some good methods out for you. Um, first of all, um, ones that I know are good. So that's the first one. You can obviously do the simple ones. These obviously aren't in packs anymore. And you'll see, again, hey, there's not many cheap ones. So this is the one here where you can kind of get some very good deals because the thing is, like, what, 41.5, I think it was last time I checked? 40k, but obviously you can be able to get more than that. You have to get 42, probably at 42 is the realistic price. But if you go in here now, I'm putting 42. These are all the players you can get. So... You'll see here you can get yourself Alexander Arnold, McGinn, Jota, Mitchell, Rice, Allison, Cody, um, Livermento, Rice, I think I already said, but yeah, there's loads of them there. So you only go and put in like 4250, check the price. So these these are 42k essentially. So they you can buy them ones, but you'd lose a bit of coins because of tax, sadly. So you'd only go 30, I mean I'd go 38.5 to be safe and sell for 42. Um that way it's at one and a half K. Again though, the not in packs at the moment. So it's going to be like more difficult. I'd stick with the Serie A personally because, um, like I say, they're in packs now. The likely of somebody selling a team and listening to like five k cheaper randomly is very rare. It will give it a little go just for me, just in case someone happens to do it. I doubt it very much personally, but obviously you never know what people are like in this community. They do do some questionable things sometimes. I've seen some very weird listings of cards, so it's always a way to go and do it. Um, here we'll go to like 1.5 mil on the max price thing we'll just go up like this in tens so then another 20 searches or so now i'm going to show you one final thing that i've been doing as well which is very helpful if you have quite a lot of coins um obviously you need to have a quite a fair amount it's not like a dead cheap method so i'm going to show you because i haven't any 10 mil we'll have like 11 mil but um yeah so we're going to go over to it now that one's one of them ones again i mean like you have to be lucky you can see that the rodri the rodrigo already sold at 43, I mean, you could buy Liverman and sign for 43, but I mean, it's not really worth it. I mean, McGinn here, 42 looks like uh, 44. I'm going to say, it didn't look terrible. I mean, it's not terrible. I reckon on a fluctuation, you can sell it for 46k. But again, I don't particularly care enough to go and do it. Um, so finally now, it's going to be team of the season. And this is the one I like because you get Serie A. I mean, this is, again, you've got to be extremely lucky. But it's one of them that you can just go and throw out there. If I can find... Oh, they're just called a stupid name, aren't they? There they are. But you see here, you get... So let's have a look at Quadrado's price now. I think he's... He's gone up again. Yeah, so it's 190 now. But if you look at 190 here, you're thinking, why would you be slamming Quadrado? Look at 180 here. You can see the little player that you can also get here, Mr. Valerich. 
So it is worth just in case that lightning round sometimes sniping needs messing about, seeing if somebody does actually come this one up by accident. Um, for me, again, it's not particularly worth it, but you just never know. Like, imagine you're sitting here, I imagine a few valuations have sold for this. Like someone's listed it for minimum by accident. I mean, it's an easy like 150k profit. But again, it's one of those where it's just not that likely to happen. I'm gonna video. I'm gonna bring a video out though in the future, guys, of a top five methods where I'm gonna show you guys like the most profitable potential filters, like where you can get massive deals if you're lucky. So a little bit like this one, but obviously there's not really much point to this one. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, please do drop a like. Also, please sub if you knew that'd be really appreciated. And I will see you all very soon with a brand new video.